hi guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please like, go down hit the like button subscribe share the link to your friends and family and then also so we can keep growing the family uh and then uh today i'm going to be doing a story a very massive it's about a jet so whenever you guys get a chance yeah kelani i'm a daughter leave men alone but at the same time don't leave men alone uh, so I'm going to be talking about this jet. This jet is my ex. How I met the jet. I was at Propaganda. I was with my other girl. It was just two of us by the VIP. Drinking, you know, getting drunk. I was so lit on that day. And then... <laughs> What happened was I was trying to request because I was I was actually staying around the corner, but I was trying to request. So me trying to request my phone fell for the first time. Then I picked it up, and then it fell for the second time. I was still using an iPhone eight plus. Yeah, it fell for the second time. Picked it up again because I was drunk. For the third time, my home button was fucked. My phone wasn't even working, not even working, like one person working, it was not. So this gen came to me, like that time, I'm late, my phone is not working, I'm trying to request, I am so, like I'm such a cry baby when I'm drunk. I am so much trying to cry. So guy comes to me, and then guy is like, hey baby girl, what's your name? And I'm just there like, dude, my phone, no, I wasn't even saying anything. Come up once I phone get my phone. Phone. I don't know, I'll get you another one tomorrow. I don't want another phone. I want my phone. So, so the gent stays in Pretoria East. Let me give him a name in fact. Uh get the game. Uh I think to think it's in the game. Let's call him Mike. So Mike is like, let me drop you guys off. I'm like, okay, cool, because I didn't have cash on me and I and I was trying to request a card. Shop. Mikey, we get into Mike's friend's car. When we get into the car, the friend is like, you know what? I'm not gonna drop you guys off because I'm going to Pretoria East. So we're having an argument there, right on the spot. Okay, no, I kill it, Robby. I'm going to East. You guys are just going around the corner. Why would I drop you guys? Why should I do that? Give me a motive. Ugh. Like I'm drunk. Dude, why can't you just drop me off home? Okay, cool. Mike is like, no, let me talk to my friend so he can drop you guys off. No, Mike was not dropping us off. The agreement was we were going to Mike's place in Pretoria East. Yes. And then what I said to Mike's friend was, do you know what Mike's uh let's call Mike's friend Paul? I was like to Paul, you know what? Can we pass by to check if the gate is really closed? Mm -mm. And then uh oh Paul drove to where I was staying before. When we got there, the gate wasn't closed. So what we did was to ask oh Paul to wait and then we jumped off the car. We ran into the building. Okay, cool. Shop. So Mike had gotten, uh, yeah, Mike had asked for my numbers. Mike had my numbers. So uh, the next day in the morning, my phone was working perfectly so. No, it started, yeah, it was working perfectly so. And then I texted one of my sellers to bring me another phone. And then the guy came, it was, yeah, he came with an iPhone XR, yeah. So Mike, the follow like Mike has been calling since eight in the morning on Sunday. Mike was busy calling, 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 calling. Said we should go to a shooting range. And at that time I was so bubbleast. So think of when I got to my place. My friend G was sleeping, and then immediately when I got into the house, I started crying. <laughs> yeah, and all that. So Sunday morning, I wake up, I'm hanging, I'm so stressed that my phone is not working. I'm trying to order, a, what's this, chicken licking, yeah. 
trying to order chicken licking. I'm trying to talk to the guy so he can bring me a phone. Mike is busy calling. I pick up the phone. Mike is like to me, baby girl, let's go for a shooting range. It's me, you, and my friends. I'm like, okay, cool. That's what I said. Okay, cool. Let me get ready. Instead of me getting ready, I went back to sleep. Went back to sleep. And then I woke up uh, during the day. When I woke up, he was still calling. Oh, baby girl, where are you? I've been waiting for you. Yeah, okay, cool. So I now tell him, Jorge and Mike, I've been sleeping, to be honest with you. I'm still hanging. Mike, oh, no, it's fine. And then he's like, did you eat? Get no, I didn't eat. Are kohona. Uh, come to me, I'm by Centurion, she's saying I'm, I'm like, okay, cool, but I'm coming with the girls, shop. So we Uber to Centurion, we get there, hey, when we get to the she's saying I'm the jig is the other girl saying she's too young, she should be watching Cartoon Network at her age. Okay, cool. So Mikey spoke to the guy. And then all of us got in. We got into the Shisanyama. They bought us food. We ate. Like I literally wanted nothing to do with alcohol on that day. And I was drinking. Yeah, I was drinking Coke. I was smoking happily. Yeah. And then from uh, Centurion, we went to the east where Mike and his other friend stays. We get to Mike's play. Mike's friend's place. The other friend. What's the other friend's name? Jojo, we get to Jojo's place. Hey, <laughs> all of us are chilling. We're smoking heavily. Mike and I are conversating. Like I'm busy. I'm out there bringing that mic. I got a new phone. This is my new phone. So since when you said you were gonna buy me a phone, you can end the pro you can stop the process. Yeah. And a uh, few days later on, Mike invited me to some event in Limpopo okay cool he even sent me the poster I was like okay cool I think he told me like two weeks before yeah two weeks before the event I was like okay cool we can go and then he did ask Hora, who are you coming with and then I said I was gonna bring my cousin Excuse. then I came with my cousin because I remember on the day before we had left we had to leave for Limpopo I went to go install my hair. Everything was just okay. And then we, on Friday, we went to PLK. I went to Polokwani. Got to Polokwani. They booked. I don't I think so. Did somebody cook? No, they bought takeaways. Yeah. So we were eating, same procedure. Eating, drinking alcohol, smoking heavily. Everything was just, you know. Friday, Saturday morning, we drove from Polokwane to Giani for the event. Yeah. So by the time we got to Giani, it was low chain. They had booked at some, uh, it's not a hotel. What's that? It's, it's not a lodge. It's not a, it's not a Airbnb. Man. I forgot what it's called. But the place was not, it's a boutique. Yeah, it's a boutique hotel. I'm sorry. They booked at some boutique hotel. It was, it was actually nice. And then, uh, just 30 minutes after we had checked in, Mike and then his his cousin, the one that we left with, went to the venue. Okay, cool. <laughs> they went to the venue. And then <coughs> Mike told his other cousin, female cousin, to come with us to the event. Okay. So we got ready. Went to the event. When we got to the event, everything was just okay. Yeah, everything was just fine. My cousin was drinking a beverage. I was drinking more nectar as usual. Up until some guy wanted to speak to me. And then all of a sudden, Mike comes to me. I'm like, no, to, I'm like, no to Mike. I know this guy back from Pretoria. Mike is like to me, you're not even supposed to speak to anyone. Not even if it's your gay friend. Yeah, little Mikey. Okay, Sharp, I didn't have a problem with that. Up until I think I wanted to speak to Mike. Mike was busy conversating with other girls. In front of me. Yeah. Sharp. 
And then at a later stage, guys kept coming to me. They wanted to speak to me, which I couldn't because I respected Mike way too much. So, and then what happened? Uh -huh. And then I started getting tipsy. I wanted to talk to Mike. Mike was overreacting because he was conversating with his female friends from Guyani. I wasn't getting the attention that I applied for. And then I think I went outside. Yeah, that's when I got pissed because I was not even supposed to conversate with anyone, but Mike was busy conversating with people. So, and then I went outside to grab some A. When I came back, somebody was asking for my numbers. And then Mike's other friend saw me handing out my numbers to the waiter, which is uh, the guy sent a waiter to come get my numbers. Mm -hmm. And Ulo guy that saw me went to Mike, went and told Mike. And then all of a sudden there was a fight. Because I remember the uh, there was some big bodyguard. Like he was he's so muscular and so huge. I remember the guy was holding the friend at some point he even slapped the friend and then after my guy was also slapped because he got into a fight saying that i gave up my numbers which i didn't even entertain okay fine after the fight i think i was oh i tried speaking to to mike because mike was part of the fight so i was trying to like calm a mic down but what Mike did was he became a bitch. He also wanted to fight me. And then that's when I started crying. Yeah, I started crying. My cousin came to me. She was comforting me. And what happened? What happened was Mike, he was busy saying a lot of things, which I cannot say right now. Mike was busy saying a lot of things. And then afterwards, I remember that when Mike finally felt that he is now down, he's now, he cooled off. He said we should go back to the boutique hotel, but why? Because the other kids are still enjoying. Okay, cool. We drive back because, oh, I remember, I, oh, there was a point where I got pissed. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, where I got pissed because I even wanted to Uber back. There was no Uber. I wanted to ball back. There was no ball. Like, literally nothing. I literally wanted to do nothing with Mike because Mike kept pissing me off. I forgot what he did, but he kept doing the same thing. And then when we left for the boutique hotel, we got there. On our way, he was making his cousin seem as a bad guy, saying, Hore, the cousin has been jollering. In front of my cousin. Okay. We get to the boutique hotel. It's Mike with his his fr other friend. And then there's me and my cousin. And then morally, we have to sleep. Now we're in our room. My cousin forgot her keys. Lay her guy. And now it's, a, it's an issue of, I'm saying I'll sleep with my cousin on the floor. Mike is on the bed with his friend. And then Mike is like to me, if you're sleeping on the floor, I'm also sleeping on the floor. I'm like, dude, why, why are you being dramatic? Because I literally want nothing to do with you. Can't you see that I'm mad? And then Mike hey, found his way to make me come down. And then I finally slept on the bed. Mike's cousin came. My cousin went to their room. So it was me and Mike, we slept, in the morning we woke up, we drove back to Pretoria, but on our way we passed by, I think, what's this, Waterland, Kupolokwan, passed by Waterland, and then we came back, on our way back, there was a lot of memories created, okay, we came back uh, to Pretoria, which, uh, yeah, came back to Pretoria, and then they went to go drop us off, after they went to go drop us off, they went to other places, and then from there, we were communicating over the phone. Okay, and then what happened next? Nothing happened after that. And that'll be the fr uh, the closure for the first part. I'm going to be continuing with the story either tomorrow, or uh, tomorrow is Thursday. 
either tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday. Somewhere there. Thank you. Yo, yo, guys, I come back with a massive, massive, massive story. Okay, so the very continuation of what I was talking about the other day. So, hi, I don't want to be Dory. And December, I went to Conquer Cape Town. Boom. When I get to IAP, I'm going to not the thing. Was it 31st? Yeah. 31st, boom, I see my guy. Hey, my guy. My guy is with his mother of his kids or his wife. Girlfriend, I kids. I get the key. So we get there. And I will show me our guy. As we get there. So my guy sees me, he pokes me, one day, go on the high baby. I'm like, hey, how are you? I'm good. Shop. After more, uh, the wife, the mother of the kids, the girlfriend or whatsoever, I don't know what title to give her actually. Oh, poker to my guy, please take care of my husband. I'm going to the toilet. Did you just say my husband? Okay. So, Ole, what, 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 transfer that to her corner you, but please take care of my husband. <laughs> that time when my husband, Arkhona, you will always be my girl. Go back to Let's see a girl. Okay, Shab. So my husband, Arkhona, you will always be, you forever be my girl. I'm like, dude, if I always be a girl. What about your wife? What about the mother of your kids? What about your girlfriend? I don't know. Oh, well, she's always there, but you always be my girl. Okay, shop. We move. And then from Conquer Cape Town, we came back to Pirara. And then Elliot, is it Elliot? Yes, yeah. No, it was on the 13th of uh, February. Before Valentine's, baby boy invites me to Rocket. It was on a Sunday. Baby boy invites me to Rocket. Uh, I met Rocket. Come see me. I'm like, okay. Eric, I don't know whether I want to come or not. Like, he, he sent me an invite around 8 p.m. Mind me from 8 up until midnight. That's when I decided that he is. I'm going. So, get to Rockets. It's Valentine's Day. Baby boy, oh my gile. Hey, apparently I delayed. Oh my gile, let's just tell you. So, as soon as I get there, I'm like, hi to everyone. So, after the hi, Baby girl, what are you doing? Baby boy is mine. I'm like, okay, stop. Eric is with her. And then I went to the ladies. That's when he also went to the bathroom. As soon as I was on my way back, he was on his way back as well. I recognize baby girl. I'm like, baby girl, because what you all are wearing. I don't know, that girl is from Sandton. I just met her now. I'm like, okay, shop. So we get we both get back to the table. Next thing, oh, before I went to Rockets, baby boy said to me I should accompany him to mom's. I'm like, okay, shop. So I got two, I thought it was around two when they closed to Rockets. So now it's time to go to mom's. Supposed to go to mom's. Uh, baby boy, oh my kile, baby boy cannot go with me, but he wants to go. He wants me to go with him. So baby girl is trying to be one of those girls, and I'm just there like, aha, uh -huh, I'm a soft time. I don't fight. I don't fight for men. All right. So now let's me aga. Revisit us her, us her, us her. Yo, this girl, who busy wa? I go and bump in the hole, but I'm not gonna go and all that. I'm like, do, 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 don't do that. So, so we get to the parking lot. Yeah, San Arena. Get to the parking lot. Now, get uh, store. Uh, baby girl wants wants to go with baby boy. 
baby boy wants me to go with him to mom's and then i don't know who came up with the idea of coming to zenzu mm -mm. i wanna go i wanna live with you i'm like okay baby boy that's fine but what's gonna happen to baby girl i don't know baby girl i just met her now hey with my nelly story yo yo hi okay so baby boy i recall getting my my friend's car well made at zenzu i'm like okay go and then his driver drove we followed them to zenzu we get to zenzu so morally <laughs> i think i was tipsy when, when we got to zenzu so we get to zenzu we sit by the vip and then all of a sunday people are not like a drinking champagne eh? So now you're going to baby, eh, baby boy, I'm going to baby girl. Was a pussy. You're going to go by my nectar. My bottle comes. Baby girl is now catching. I'm going to baby boy. Why is she drinking champagne? Why are you buying your champagne? Like it's just a single bottle, baby girl. Relax your pussy muscles. My little baby boy, I'm going to But she's the one who ordered it. What? Why? Why? Why are you asking? Why are you concerned? Okay. My bottle comes, they open it for me, I start drinking. So no champagne a mixer home. So guys, one thing about me when, <laughs> when I'm drunk. Look at for take gal. So Kiriki Bali baby boy. Baby girl is all over baby boy. I can't even say whatever I wanted to I couldn't even say whatever I wanted to say to baby boy because before I, I have to before i could talk to baby boy i have to pass through by baby girl i have to pass by baby girl kick up a permission which i couldn't take so so morally i want to speak to baby boy baby was like i should come sit next to him so i can talk to him i'm like no it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna do that and then uh driver yeah baby boy i should go talk to baby boy i'm like no keep really baby boy i like the boss no way and then Mole, uh, the driver wanted to drive them home. And then I said to the driver, how about you drop us off? Because I just stay in the next street. Yeah, but to my era issue. And by the way, I was trying to request, but all the drivers were canceling my trips. Mind me, I am drunk. My girl is sober. That time, I can't even talk to the person that invited me. Can't even say a single hi to him because somebody's all over him. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I don't know what triggered my tears, but this guy like a baby girl was crying. Hey. And then I what I said to the guy, and no, I, I didn't say anything. I just took my phone. And then I left. We walked from Zenzi to here to my place. Walked from Zenzu to my place, but <laughs> on my way from Zenzu to here, I remember sending him a text saying, don't you ever try to contact me again in your life or try to invite me ever again. I swear to God, if you do that, I'll murder you or I'll kill you, yeah, I will kill you with my, using my hands. Yeah, I remember something like that. I sent him and both his numbers and then I sent I sent the same text on WhatsApp and then I got home. Hey, oh my word. Hey, so I cried from Zenzu to here. Oh, I even sent him a voice note. If I was to play this V and yeah. <laughs> Yo, when bar. So we got to the house, went straight to bed. I think I woke up the next day. Yeah, I woke up to his call. He was calling me, baby boy is so chilled. Not even bothered about what I said to him, what I sent him. Not even the. Arakuhona Motaka. Motaka, my person. Hey, okay. Arakuhona, please come join me for lunch at Touches. Not me because I like things. Did I not go? I was hanging, but I went. Mm -hmm. So I went to Tasha's, I got to Tasha's, I ordered something to eat, and then, yeah, I had my lunch. And then after that, he came to drop me off home. 
And then after he invited me, no, he didn't invite me. Uh, I got an invitation. My friend got an invitation from one of his friends to Rock Kids. It was before uh, Easter. Yeah, before Easter. So I was home. My girl was at her place. And then I don't go now. Let's go to Rock Kids. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I met her outside Rock Kids. Uh, yeah, I think. Both got in Rock Kids and then we went there. I went there not knowing that the guy that invited my friend was his friend up until I got to the table. Okay, go. Cool. When I got to the table, he was with another girl claiming that the girl that he was with is the mother of his kids. That's what he said. But my question my question to him was if she's a mother of your kids, how come this time she, this time around she's stuck? Because I know the baby mom or well, not the baby mama, the mother of your kids is yellow. I don't know. You don't know this person. This person can change. Hey, okay. So, so they yeah, remind me we get to the table. Before we even get to the table, I tell baby girl, hey, that guy was my pissy. Okay. Get to the table. Everybody's drinking. Okay, we always start drinking. Some girls are trying to cross drama, but I was not there. And then from there, things were just okay. And then two days later, I got an invitation from him saying, oh, I first got a call from his friend. And then two minutes later, I got a call from him saying I should come to the Maslow. Yeah. No, at first he said I should come to Rockets. And then later on, he then said I should come to the Maslow. Then I told my girl, Horan, let's go. Because we wanted to go to the Guiani event. So I thought he was going. We get uh we went to the Meslo, got to the Meslo. When we when we got to the Meslo, they came to get us downstairs and then we all went up. Okay, when we got there, everybody was drinking. No, they bought a beverage, which I don't like. But I had no problem with I had to drink it because it was only champagne they had for that day. So yeah, we were drinking. Two minutes later, after I got into the hotel, he got to the hotel as well. And then, yeah, he got to the hotel as well. And then after that, he came to me and then he said, hi, I'm like, hey, how are you? Good, 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 good shop. So... Uh, we started talking my friend was asking him if he's going yeah if he's going then he said no he's not going and then are why are why i'm not because we're not going are you going to baby you're going to get i'm like yes i'm going to get are if you go to get but I, I can't say it in in Tonga because I don't know it properly. He said something like get low reverse if you go to Kiani. Kiro reverse among Papa Sandala Nakia Kiani. So so Molly we over the Kiani thing because he's not going. Okay, cool. Later on, because they were not going to Kiani, everything was just okay. We were chilling, everybody's drinking money in their own business. So Mole, my friend wanted to leave. All of a sudden, when I wanted to leave as well, I'm not supposed to leave. But how? Because you were your baby mom, you're the mother of your kids a few days ago. Now he's acting up when I'm supposed to leave. Baby boy is acting up, he's making up stories. Uh, I cannot leave. Hey, baby, I miss you. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, sup? And then Karuka still a baby girl, a baby girl left, and then I stayed behind. So, so Molly was still drinking. I think we were playing, even playing music, yeah. And then there's this one girl that came. I don't, I don't know her name, but it was my first time seeing her. Okay, so the girl came, and then after, no, before she came, we had to go get her outside. So on our way to go get it was us going to the garage. Went to the garage and then we came back. After we came back, everything was just okay. So Molly, it's now the time for me to close my eyes. And then I'm like to baby boy, since when you don't want me to leave? How about we go to my place? 
baby boy is making stories and he's tired can't even drive i'm like okay if you can't drive because i don't have my license yet how about we request you yep. another story on top of another story shop more like kitty you know what because i have i have a school tomorrow let me just sleep when i woke up in the morning yes when i woke up no before i slept oh baby girl said what do you, what was the question oh are we allowed to do whatever we want to do mind me baby girl was asking the question looking at me i'm like dude i'm straight i'm straight I don't math, I don't do whatever, I don't do the I can the scissor thing and no. I'm gonna take thick baby. Okay, shop. So I'm well and then I was like to I was like to people, you're right, good night, I'm sleeping and then I slept. In the morning when I woke up, he woke me up. Shop. And then he went to go take a shower. And then I went to go take a shower after he was done. When I was taking the shower, the power went off. Mind me, my phone was charging. So I had to go like, I had to get up, get out of the shower because the bathroom was too dark to go get my phone so that I can use it to lighten up the room. Mind me, when I got there, everything was just moja moja for the first time. But no, everything wasn't okay. When I went to go get my phone, <laughs> the friend is trying to block my space like he's trying to block the way so i so i cannot make my way to the other side okay only to find out when i get to the other side baby boy <laughs> no mm, mm. Mm. baby boy is on top of another baby girl and i'm just in this i was just in the shower not even for 20 minutes but already he's on top. Yeah. Kiri, you know what? Let me just get my phone. Go back to the bathroom. Finish taking my shower. And then go home. Because for the why am I here? <laughs> yeah. Alright. So I did exactly that. I took my phone. I went back to the bathroom. Finished taking my shower. Dried my skin. Applied lotion. Put on my clothes. Mind me, I was waiting for the dental kit. But after what I saw, I felt like, you know what? I'll just brush my teeth when I get home. Okay? So, yeah, I got dressed and then I went to go get my slippers. I got my jacket, got my bag. I left the room. When I was leaving the room, he wanted to explain himself. Why are you explaining yourself? Because you couldn't wait for me. You couldn't keep your dick inside your, po your, your pants. You, you couldn't even wait for me to leave. Okay. He's trying to explain himself that, himself that he was just on top. There was nothing going on. But how? How are you nakedly on top of somebody but not doing anything to them? Make me understand because I can win. Oh, yeah, and then I said the same thing to him. Please delete my numbers. Don't you ever try to reach me again in your life. I left. He tried to call me asking whether I'm not going to have breakfast with him. I was like, no, I'm full. That was my appetite. Are you not going to brush your teeth? Did you get the dental kit? No, thank you. I have a tooth. I have plenty of toothbrushes at home. I'll do that when I get home. Thank you. Then I left. For the fact that, oh baby girl, yo guys, I don't even know how to explain what kind of a girl Tsibinki was. Yeah, go all. We got a little for the fact that Bahuchiti. We got a little the fact that Bahuchiti like a n. It's like like in front, yo guys. Mm -hmm, I'm fine, thanks. Ngaba fine. That time I was fine, thanks. Hmm? Okay, shop. And then I left. I I Ubered. Then I left. When I got to my friend's place, I wanted to, literally wanted to cry. Why did I want to cry? There's, there's been a lot going on between me and this nigga. 
And this guy has done a lot to me. Oh, and yet he still, had, he still had the guts, the audacity to call me the mother of his twins. Hey, the big guy. Mm. So when I got home, baby boy was busy calling. I was rejecting his calls. He was texting on nonstop on WhatsApp, explaining himself, apologizing about how I got everything wrong, but how I did not see what I saw. Good, he was trying to make things seem as if like what I saw was literally nothing. Like nothing was going on. He was just on top, nothing happening. But if you're on top, why couldn't, you, why couldn't you go on top of her when I was there? That was my question. And then I, I felt like, you know what, baby boy, it's fine. I feel like you and I have reached our destination. We can go separate ways because every time you invite me, there's always gag happening. There's always bullshit. You're always, doing, you're always doing me dirty. And then, yeah, that was it. And then, uh... Devin July, I went to Devin July, and then when we went to Mklanga, yeah, we went to Mklanga, we, we were on Mklanga because we wanted to go to the salon, so no, we walk into the salon, I see baby boy again, even like at first I saw him, and then I said to myself, you know what, I'm just going to mind this guy, which I did, and he was calling out my name, it's you. It's you. All right. And then I turned, I went to him. How are you? I'm like, I'm good. Ara, please kiss me. Get it for the why. I don't even know what you've been up to with those lips. Ara, oh, you're still mad at me. Get it for what? Ara, but the way you actually get oh, yes, now I remember. I'm still mad at you. Get up for what you did to me. You know what you, you did me dirty many times. And I've been, I've been forgiving you time and again. But this time around, I'm not. And baby boy said to me, oh, he did ask, what am I going to get up to later on? Then I said, I don't know. I just wanted to go to Hugo. He said, Hugo? Yes, Hugo. Then he said to me, you know what? It's fine. When you're done doing your hair, just give me, give me a call. Okay, go. Cool. We got done. Went to go do a makeup and then from the makeup late makeup artist we went back to give um not um like um um cloti yes um cloti went back to um cloti when i got to the house we i gave him a call and then he was saying he's making his way to yugo i should uber to yugo with my friends i'll i should give him a call when i get there which i did exactly that we went to yugo gave him a call when we we're outside we got inside Hugo, we got our table, everything was just okay, we were vibing so nicely, up until Hugo closed when we had to go, when we had to go, he was with his friend, when we had to go, and then that's where all the drama was. Some girl just appeared out of the blue, trying to cause drama, like we were trying to, we were getting inside the car, because my other friend had already left, so it was just only the two of us me and wendy we were trying to get inside the car and then baby girl all of a sudden came out of nowhere screaming at at baby boy saying Hore, the very same way these girls are like, getting inside this car it's the same way they're going to get out <laughs> i'm like eh, it's your color but mm. it's crying so i'm wondering whether this girl is the friend's girl or the guy what name should i give him i don't know what name i gave him earlier on the, guy, the guy's girl i'm like okay to my friend you know what jimmy please step out of the car and then we'll uber to um from here and then my chum is like why do we need to uber because uh the guy's friend said he was gonna drop us off because we're not far from Klanga. Mm -mm. now i'm explaining the story there's a girl trying to cause havoc outside please step out, out of the car i will kindly uber so we can go home because as you see me i'm not ready for drama I don't want anything. I don't want to fight for anyone. Like I'm too soft. So, so, uh, baby boy went to baby girl. I think he was trying to calm baby girl down. 
And then the baby boy's friend said to me, you know what? Let me get in the same Uber with you guys. They will drive my car to the hotel. I'm like, okay, cool. So, baby boy, the other, oh, the friend, the friend, let's give him a name, Mark. Mark said to me, let's get in the car. We got in the car. And then I said to Mark, you know what? Because on our way home, we can pass by Mkanga. How about we go to Mkanga to drop you off and then drive, your driver will drop us off afterwards. Okay. Mind me on the way. Now baby boy is trying to change everything. Baby boy is no longer protecting his friend. Now he wants to shell at me. I'm like, dude, the fuck, bro? Why do you want to shell at me now? Because you know that I've been vibing with your friend. But my friend is not here and I'm here. Hey, my daughter. I'm like, no, whatever you're trying to do is not going to happen. But do you know what? I'm not in the mood to be explaining myself to anyone or to be talking to anyone or to be saying anything at this moment because already I'm pissed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't let baby boy change your mood. You've been happy all along. Now because all of that all of that happened, now you are pissed. I know that and I understand. But please give me a chance. Give you a chance. But to mark. Can't do another man. No, I'm sorry, but I can't. I just don't want to talk to anyone right now. Can I just sleep? I will wake up when we get to wherever we're going. Okay, sure. So we get to we get to the hotel. We go in. Just five minutes after we got in, baby boy comes. Baby boy, can we talk? I'm like, talk about what? I don't owe you anything as we speak. Right now, I just I don't even want to talk to you. What I want to do is to go home. Rasale, before oh Kerya, can I please go home before we step on each other's toes? Barakona, no, we'll drop you guys off in the morning. Come, let's sleep. Let's sleepy. Yeah. Can I baby boy? You know what? Just do you, nigga. I'll do me as well. And then I Uber home. Woke Wendy up, and then we left. Got home to Mloti, went to sleep. The next day, took a shower, went back to Mklanga, and then we went to La Parada in Mklanga to meet up with the princess for lunch. Baby boy was calling, ask, asking, where are you? Where am I? I'm around your area. Arkhona, can I please see? Can you see me for what? Yeah. Kiri go baby boy. You know, thank you. I came to have lunch with my friends and then from here i'm going to the all white party and i have to get ready like yeah i have to get ready my makeup is gonna take a bit longer plus i have to do my hair yeah i have to get ready for the event yeah and then that was it that was the last i think that was the last time i was in contact with baby boys with baby boy no that was that was in the last time it was not but that yeah, but that's the end of the story. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for making your time to, you know, watch the story. But also, please don't forget to subscribe. Kindly share the link, share the channel, and thank you.